Part 4. How to Avoid a UTI Infection. November 9, 2023. Just a reminder this is for people who don't use catheters to can still do this experiment. How much water should you drink to avoid a UTI? I drink 6 bottles 16.9 fluid oz of water, but if you wait a little bit more than I do maybe you should ask your doctor or the pharmacy, how much water should you drink I don't want to tell you drink less or drink too much because in this situation, I don't know. I weigh 140 pounds and when I looked it up on Google it tells me I'm supposed to drink 6 bottles of water. Please please don't overdo the water by drinking too much water, it will kill you. In my opinion, 6 to 7 bottles of water that's what I would put in my body because remember by doing this experiment you're cleansing the body especially if you're using the catheter. Oh and another thing I forgot to mention, I'm not just drinking water, I drink 1 cup of ginger ale a day and... A big glass of chocolate milk or white milk, you can still drink your regular fluids just make sure to add those 6 bottles of water. Let's move on, so I can tell you how to do this catheter bag best time to start this is at night, so when you go to bed you will use the urine drainage bag and catheter after you put the catheter in and hang your urine drainage bag up on the bar on your bed. Do not strap your catheter on your leg, I repeat do not strap your catheter on your leg. In my opinion when you have that strap to your leg and you move around in the bed your urine will not flow into the urine drainage bag like it's supposed to. The urine will stay in your bladder and eventually you'll start feeling the fullness. That means it's not flowing this happened to me a couple of times when I had it on my leg. That's why I no longer put it on my leg and I just left the catheter hang over my mattress. Now you will leave this in until the next day I get up. At 6 o'clock that's when I take it out and go into the bathroom. Let me remind you when I started this experiment I'm also doing raw garlic, so before I start putting anything in my body in the morning. I'll do the raw garlic and let it sit on my stomach for an hour and then when the hour is up, I can eat and drink anything I want throughout the day. Part 5. I'll show you the next day how to wash your fully catheter and urine drainage bag then I'll continue to tell you the next step. By Leona.